It's taken three years, but La Nina has finally ended, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is now on El Nino watch. What does that mean? That we're likely headed for an El Nino in the coming months, and more importantly, El Nino could linger well past the summer months into our coming winter. And that is going to have a big effect on how the winter plays out, I think, come 2024. El Nino is simply warmer than average sea surface temperatures near the equatorial Pacific, and it's already begun. That warmer than normal temperature means the sea surface allows more water vapor to come up from the surface of the oceans and begin to form more cloud cover. About the winter months, that's when El Nino can really have an impact. We typically see a more active subtropical jet stream, the southern branch of the jet stream, cutting across the southern U.S. That brings frequent storms and keeps us not only wetter, but typically cooler. And you know what that means? We could have some bigger snowstorms during El Nino years. It's more typical to see that.